Hi y'all, it's me. I'm here to do the challenge drawing for challenge number 52 held over at www.myscraproom.ning.com. I'll put the link down below for you for those of you who are unfamiliar with my Ning site. We have a forum, a chat room, we have a um, photo gallery, we have videos, we have swaps every month that are posted on the 21st, and we have weekly challenges. Um, and a lot of fun and a lot of nice people there. So come join us. It's free to join. Um, I'd also want to tell you that if you are interested in participating in a challenge, you need to be an active member there at my scrap room for at least 30 days prior to winning or being eligible to win the prize. Um, being active means participating in the chat room, participating in swabs, posting, and all of that kind of thing. So that's what you need to do. So this past week, oh, and before I get busy with that, let me just tell you this video is going to be quite lengthy because I had to make a second part to show you um, the next prize, which is wonderful, and the challenge, which is a doozy. So you're going to want to be sure and stay tuned for the entire video to watch the whole thing so you can see what's up for grabs and all that stuff. So anyway, this past week, um, my entries had to make this purse here or a version of it. And they had to use one of my uh, crepe paper flowers that I did a tutorial for. Um, and there are some other challenges to be met as well. Um, you can see a list of those if you go to my scrap room. Click on the challenge tab and look for challenge 52 and you'll be able to see all the entries there as well as the um, the requirements. So they had to make this little purse and um, as I said it just opens up. It's really cute and they did a fabulous job. There was a lot of great, great entries um, in there this particular time. Whoa, sorry. I'm trying to move something for my doggy. <laughs> okay, and so what they were going to win is this chipboard book, um, this roll of trim right here, which is really pretty. These um, close pins with chalkboards on them, a little stamp, and this paper mat uh, stack right here from Die Cuts with a View. So let me go ahead and pull out this week's winner. Good luck to everyone. I hope you all win, but of course we know there will be just one winner. But try again because eventually you will win. Eventually. <laughs> and um, here we go. I've got the winner in my hand. And the winner is, if I can open it, I'm nervous. No, I'm just kidding. The winner is Maggie L. Congratulations, Maggie. You are this week's winner. Way to go. Um, just send me your information and I will be in touch with you uh, regarding everything else. So congratulations. Now, before uh, anything else, I'm going to cut off my video and add the next part on. So stay tuned. Don't, don't go away yet. And um, I'll see you all soon. Have a good one. Bye. Hi, y'all. It's me. I'm back to show you what the prize, the challenge, and how to make the challenge is for uh, challenge number 53 over at my scrap room. So I'll start with the prize. I have to go kind of fast because there's a lot in here. I put together um, what I think is a really nice kit for you. And um, I'll start by this. This is one of the file folders that I used when I did my romance novel file folder. It has the three different layers in it. Now, I need to tell you this, that if you win and you want to have affordable shipping, I'm going to need to bend this back tab in order to get it to fit in the envelope because it's just too big for the the envelope that I want to use for it. Um, the next rate would be higher, so if you want to pay the higher rate, that's fine. But um, to save you some money, I thought I'd just bend this down. Uh, you can reinforce it with chipboard and pattern paper when you get it, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue. So um, I really wanted to include that because the paper you're getting is perfect for this uh, project. Um, but just in case that doesn't work out for you, I'm also including one of my favorite uh, chipboard books from Michaels. And um, really cute, it comes with the rings there. But the reason I wanted to use this file folder is because the I'm giving you some of my stash of my Divine Prima paper collection. And um, these are A4 and they fit perfectly on this uh, file folder. So let me go through the papers quite quickly. 
Like I said, I have a lot to show and I don't want this video to go on and on. But in case you haven't seen it yet, it's lovely. And um, I'm pretty sure that you will enjoy creating with it. It's just so pretty. Those beautiful cutouts and stuff. And um, so you're getting one of each of the papers that came in the A4 stack. That's that. And then in this, I also wanted to include these um, Cosmo Cricut um, tiny type stickers. So you get a whole bunch of letters in there. So that's part of the package. Getting a couple of the celebrated bags from Michaels. These are small pink ones, so they're really cute. You'll be receiving um, this bling frame from Making Memories. Pretty. And also a roll of Daiso double stick tape to see if you like it. And maybe you don't have access to it, so it'd be nice just to try it out anyhow. <clears throat> um, you're going to receive... Let me go with this first. You're going to receive, I cut out in lightweight chipboard, three of the Tim Holtz <clears throat> picture wheel dies, and then three different colors of uh, paper go on top so you can choose which one you want to use. In the line of the die cuts, I also went through my Michaels chipboard pieces and I pulled out a piece from here and there, and so I put a few in here that you'll be receiving. Really nice. You'll be receiving the note cards that go along with the uh, Divine Collection. Let me see. Oops, that's upside down. That one, and that one. You'll be receiving these beautiful champagne colored pearls from Want to Scrap. You'll be receiving, I don't know how many, some doilies here, a little stack of doilies, paper doilies. You'll be receiving a piece of this bling mesh in silver. It's like a lot of stuff in this kit, I'm telling you. Um, I have a haul video that I'm showing from Daiso, and I got this at Daiso, and um, it's a light plastic. You can cut them apart and use them as little doilies or, I don't know, whatever you whatever you think of, so you get a piece of that. You're going to be getting two different bead sprays. You're going to get this bunch right here in cream, really pretty, and then these in pink, really nice too. And then um, you're going to get some trims, quite a few actually. Uh, but let me show you this first. I'm going to give you a piece of white burlap and a piece of muslin. Uh, you can stamp on it or, I don't know, make washi tape or whatever. And then your trims that you're getting, um, I'm giving you a small piece of this trim that I got downtown, which I love. You're going to get, oh, there's a lot of stuff in this trim. Um, you're getting a bunch of this here. You can see there. You're going to get this one here. A bunch of that there. This one here. Got a bunch of that. A bunch of this one. Really pretty. You get a lot of this one right here. this one which is really delicate and pretty quite a bit of that too um whew. you're gonna get this sheer set uh sheer ribbon really pretty it's a soft pink you'll be getting i got this from my friend halud so i'm sharing a small piece of it because it goes really nice with this eyelet so you're getting um, some in this green color and also from Hulud, some in this tan cream color. Really pretty. So have that in there. 
And then Candy had given me this one she visited, and I thought this went well with the collection too. It's pleated, and you make really cute roses out of them if you round them out like that. Really cute. So you could do smaller ones, obviously. But you get a bunch of that. And she also gave me this one, which is a pleated eyelet. So I'll send you some of this too, and it makes a gorgeous flower. Look at that. <laughs> I just rolled it up that way, but I mean, it's so pretty. Um, okay, there's still more. There's a lot of trims in this one. You can get some of this one here. And then the beaded trims I'm giving you are, these I believe are 4 millimeter cream, really small, cute. So you'll get that. These are smaller than those in a pink color. They're smaller. Not sure of the size on those. You'll get this one here. Have a, I'm going to sneeze. I'm trying not to. I'm holding it off. Uh, that one there. Really cool. And then finally, to round off the trims, you'll get this one here, which I just got and I love. It's gorgeous. So I'm giving you some of that as well. That's the trims. Um, as far as the flowers go, let's see, you're going to get five of these right here. Those are satin, real pretty. And then you'll get a bunch of, uh oh, I just threw something here that's in the giveaway. <laughs> oh, there it is. I found it. Uh, sorry. You'll get a, one of these each like that. And then you'll get these clear acrylic ones that are quite pretty. They're um, really nice. So you'll get those. And then now for all the little goodies, I'm going to throw in a couple of these little chalkboard clips that you can decorate or whatever. And then I'm going to bring this up close because I'm going to kind of pull over what I'm going to be giving you. There's a cameo right there. Um, there's a little clip with some bling on it right there. It's a little hair clip, but it's cute. Um, let's see, there's a little butterfly, a green butterfly. There's a bunch of these pieces here. They're really sparkly. I think there's some more. I think there's going to be another one somewhere in here if I remember correctly. And then you'll get um, some of these here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to go best I can. These are Prima bling from a while back when they had a when they had their bling on clearance or something. I got a bunch of it, so I'm going to share that with you. And then you'll get buckle slides, the pearls to go with the buckle slides. You're going to get some stick pins, um, clear one, that bronze one. There's another cameo you'll be getting, buckle slide. Um, you're getting these wood veneer birdies from Red Collections. I believe there's a few in here. Um, you're getting some... Um, what do you call them? Oh, there's another one of those. You're getting some charms. That one, that one, that one, that one. And this one I got from Candy and I love it. And, oh, wait, not this one. That one. This one from Candy that I love and I'm sharing one with you. It's a fairy. She's big too. She's pretty. And then um, there's another charm, another piece of that. And then there's beads and little other tchotchkes over here that I won't pull out separately. There's another stick pin. So those are all the goodies you're going to get in this challenge giveaway. And I'm going to make you work for it. <laughs> so um, bear with me one second. I just want to, don't want to mess everything up so badly because then I have to rewrap everything. I'm going to try to keep it in the shape that it's in. Just scoot it out of my way so that I can get on and show you what the challenge is going to be. I think you're going to like it. I really liked it. I liked it enough that I already made mine. So um, let me just move all of this out of the way for you. So what are we doing for challenge 53? We're going to be making a desk organizer. And 
I will show you mine. There is mine. I don't know. It's mine's pretty big, so it's hard to like show you the whole thing. But um, for mine, I used uh, Bramble Rose Paper Collection, which I adore. Um, all these flowers are from Misty, who is shabby beautiful. All the flowers that are on here. I did my banner with um, Stampin' Up! ribbon, and then I punched out the paper letters, and it reads Tool Shed in case you can't see it. I have one of those little clipboard things I put put things away on it and it just clips on top there. Just something funny to add to it. These beautiful pearls. This is a die cut from um, Sizzix and I have trim on here and as you can see they're little containers and what's really great about these and darn it I forgot to bring it out. I want to show you really quickly because this is what is so good about it. The size of it is perfect to keep on your desk for um, holding things like your little bottles of um, stickles. You know, you have to keep them upside down. They fit perfectly in there. They stand up nicely. Even your, oops, sorry, even your glue bottles fit nicely. So you can keep things like that in here. Um, you could keep, of course, your scissors and whatnot in here. I just kind of... Um, Threw it together to show you how it would look once it was put together. Um, but there are going to be a lot of requirements for this, so you need to come and check them out because you don't have to do yours exactly like I did mine. You can configure the boxes any way you want to. Um, that's going to be totally up to you, so I will tell you what I mean more about it over at Scrap Room. Um, so anyway, that's mine. I love it. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Um, I know I'm going to use it on my desk, so... Um, I went ahead and put some paper on the back there that you can see as well. So I'm really, really happy with this. <clears throat> I would think I'm going to have another one made eventually here. <clears throat> so let me show you. I'm sorry, excuse me. Let me show you how to make the pattern for the box. I just need one more thing. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm all over the place today. And this video is going to be really long with the drawing and everything. So your paper needs to measure seven and a half by five and a half. And I'll have this all at my scrap room for you. <clears throat> you want to put your paper in a horizontal position. And you're going to be scoring. And I'll have this up there for you as well. You're going to score it at one and three quarters three and a half, five and a quarter, and seven. You're going to turn it horizontal, uh, vertically, I'm sorry, and then you're going to score it at one and three quarters. If you want your box, the, the middle boxes that I have here, these, these are taller than this, obviously, you can see that. To make the smaller boxes, all you have to do is cut off one and three quarters inch from this set this side here and it will give you the smaller box or any size you want it actually but um, one and three quarters will make it exactly the way mine are so the only thing you have to know about this pattern is to cut one piece off and make slits in the rest of it so you're going to cut this little section right here off that little piece because you won't need it and you're going to go ahead and cut up to the score line on the one and three quarter side just like that it's so easy this is so easy now I made mine with cardstock and chipboard you don't have to if you don't want to you can make yours with only cardstock if that's what you want I just wanted mine to be really sturdy because I know I'm going to use it um, so you want to fold all your score lines, which I'm doing a bad job at, but you'll do neater, of course, when you take your time. And basically, your box construction is turning it all in on itself. And your little flap, you can put it under or over, however you uh, like it better. I particularly have mine on the... Um, outside because I don't want it to interfere with anything I put down in my pocket. I don't want it to get caught on there. 
So basically that's how you put it together. You just run your tape along that little flap there and at the bottom section here to hold the flap down and you're good to go. So you can put um, them in any configuration you want. You can use as many big or small as you want. I will have a, a minimum number of that, uh, boxes that you have to use and other requirements. So please be sure to come on over and see them at my scrap room. And I will um, see you all there. And I can't wait to see your desk organizers and how they turn out. Congratulations to this week's winner. And I'll talk to you all soon. Bye for now.